Okay. I was going to sit down and go through some pictures just to, you know, be petty. And I still might do that because I, sometimes I feel petty. But I'm going to have to let you uh, slide this time. But I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is, you, um, sorry, I'm going to let them walk by. Come out here to look at the garden. But the, you, you know, you were saying how, you know, my mom never had no surgery or anything. Well, honey, she did. She had two. She had two plastic surgeries. On, she had full, she had her, um, her eyelids done once. So she's had three total. Two facelifts, and then she had this, her eyes. When she was younger, they were just, her eyes were beautiful, I thought. They called, old people called them bedroom eyes. And she had that taken off which gave her that wide-eyed look, um, which is why you think you look like her, but that's funny. Um, but I just wanted to tell you the truth. You know, she did have surgery. You know, no, she never told too many people about it. If you weren't around, you just probably didn't hear about it because she didn't. She was funny about how she looked. And, um, you know, as you so graciously have pointed out, you know, she's not here no more, and neither is a lot of other people, and there's no reason for me to Hang on to a secret and let you continue to just spout all the little garbage you want to. But because I have plenty of time, you know, to deal with you. I wanted to share something with you too really quickly. You know, when when I have a, a bad mental health day, and I do have them, just like everybody else. Um, I'm not alone. I'm not by myself in that. You know, what I do to uh, bring myself to... A safer place is I first of all I don't watch you I don't look at anything uh, that's gonna upset me and in this day and time it's you that uh, you know you're the only one that makes me sick so I don't watch you I'll just ignore you for a day or two and then I'll catch up that's why sometimes you know I get to you get too far ahead of me which you're about to now because you're about ready to step into that little phase of you know ranting and raving repeatedly and we all know it everybody knows it honestly I don't know why you felt the need to tell everybody how pretty you were because we can see you you know if beauty truly started from within um, you turned ugly around five years old I guess because that's when you really became a spoiled brat that's when I should have stepped in <clears throat> and I didn't and like I've said, and I'll repeat myself, I'll regret that forever. I have to deal with you because I cannot and will not let your word be the last word. Because I do have the truth. I, and pretty much, you know, there's not too many of us left. I'm, I'm it. You know, my sisters are gone. My mother's gone. My father's been gone. Um, there's, you know, if I felt they, when they're wrong about things, you know, I'm going to just start telling it. Because if I need to, that is, only if it has something to do with anything you're saying. Because there's really nothing to, nobody to shield, you know. I was shielding my grandsons, and now that they're kind of picking up a little bit here and there of you, um, I don't have to really do that so much anymore. Because they know... They know that there is a channel with the truth on it. They know, they know me. They know I've talked about Adonis Paul and Hat Man. Bert. I've talked about all those guys, like they're part of our family. So, with that being said, you know they're going to get curious and they're going to check it all out, and they'll piece it together because they're smart, and uh, they'll know that. First thing I want them to know without a doubt is Grandma did not let you have your way. That I practiced what I preached to them. That I spoke up when I needed to. Even though it was totally embarrassing, humiliating to come forward. to even be anything to do with you. It still is, actually. But, you know what? At, at this point in my life, it really, there's no point in just hiding is there now you know you've you've been i gave you years 
years, Mary. You've been sprouting your trash. So, you got a head start on me already. But only because of pride. My pride would not allow me to get on here and make a fool of myself. But those days are over. You know, being a fool is just fine, I guess. <laughs> as long as my grandsons know that when I believe in something, I didn't just tell them to stick up for it. I, I stuck up for it myself. And then I didn't have fear. That kind of fear. I have fears, but not the kind that you would know anything about. My fears consist of losing my children or losing... When I say children, they're grown. Or something happened to them. I have a fear of them even skinning their knee. It just tears my heart out if one of them gets hurt. When I'm falls and I, and I have to... I have to go off and cry. Alone, that is. Um, I have fears. I have sadness that overwhelms me. I have all the things most people do. You just think you're the only one in the world with your special kind of problems. But I hate to tell you, you're not. Um, I was just gonna, I don't know if Frank can show them to you because they off a little. This ain't really for you, Mary. You just don't hang my, can't really see them. But there's some apples on the tree. My husband drug me out here because he wanted me to see the apples. And he wanted me to see the new peach tree. It was that little thing right there. And then his his garden he put in, his little garden. It's, it's got tomatoes and squash and cucumbers and peppers in it. How oh, exciting. Um, I'm excited about the squash. And then we were talking about trimming up the bottom of the fig tree. And I got to cut this... Um, I had to go get my clippers now and cut the, that little sucker bush right there off the apple tree so it can do its thing and um, so it won't suck up all the nutrients. Oh, and he had to show me his wood pile that we got, got the wood for the next winter. So he was proud of himself and we were looking at the trees to see which one has got to come off because we got a couple of dead, we got the one right there is dead and it's going to have to come down. I don't think it's going to be quite as scary or as traumatic as the one we took down a couple of weeks ago. And then we got another one leaning toward the house. It's got to come down before, you know, if something happens and brings it down. That'll be scary for me. I don't like it when they do that. But um, I don't want to make this too much longer for me, of me just rambling. So I'm going to stop it. But I just want you to know, um, in a little while, I am going to be sitting down to do something. And just to... Uh, let's just go through some stuff. And I want you... You know, I've been seriously uh, considering trying to set up something where I can uh, maybe I don't know I tell you honestly I wish I could get JJ Stoner to uh, come with me I, I don't know if I can set up a live or not I'm gonna see but if he would um, first time I ever spoke to him he was asking questions and they were like really super good questions and they were that um, in fact it could have been he would have made an excellent journalist or a reporter because he, he had some really good, and the way he, he presented it was, was really nice. But anyhow, I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do about that because I want to make sure that when I leave this earth, I have left no doubt in anyone's mind except for the few that follow you and love you. They can have you. Good luck to them. Um, but in the, in the normal people, or some of them above, above average people, mostly about above average, I have to say, um, the truth will be there for them. And it's also there for, the, for my, my future grandchildren's children. And my, they'll all know that I kept my word. And, and that's important to me. Something you wouldn't know anything about, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how you missed it. I, I really don't. I don't know. Maybe, so I don't know where you lost your soul, but I sure wish you'd go back and find it because I think you would really, really, really benefit from it. All right, so let me close this. But if you don't argue with me about this Facebook thing, because I didn't really want to have to pull out all them albums, but I got a feeling I'm going to have to because the proof is there. So just trust me, I'm letting you slide on this one because you weren't old enough to remember it or you wasn't born yet. So I'm going to let you go on that one.